Do you know why buckwheat is called the queen of all cereals? What are the useful properties of buckwheat? What will happen to your body if you eat buckwheat every day? The changes will be amazing. This video contains objective facts, tested and reviewed by qualified experts. Let's take a look at the reasons why you should eat buckwheat every day. If you want to be healthy, put a like and we'll get started. Everyone has probably heard about the benefits of buckwheat, and luckily, it's a pretty popular and affordable food. In fact, buckwheat contains a huge number of microelements. For example, the ancient Slavs considered buckwheat the food of bogaters. Buckwheat became world famous thanks to the Greeks. But nevertheless, the birthplace of buckwheat is considered to be the highlands of the Himalayas. According to research, buckwheat contains more than 50 useful substances. It has a huge amount of protein and is even equal to meat. More protein from other plant products, perhaps, only in peas. Buckwheat has a lot of useful amino acids, such as lysine and tryptophan, which are very important for synthesizing your own proteins in the body. Buckwheat has a lot of iron, and by this indicator it surpasses all other popular cereals. The iron content per 100 grams of buckwheat in it is 37% of the daily norm. Iron has a very positive effect on our circulatory system and normalizes hemoglobin. The next useful element is potassium. One serving of buckwheat contains 15% of the daily allowance of potassium, which, in turn, strengthens vascular walls, positively affects the water salt balance and reduces blood pressure. Buckwheat has a very high content of valuable fiber. And about the usefulness of fiber did not say only lazy. Every adult should eat 30 grams of fiber per day. Fiber helps our digestive process, revitalizes our intestines. Also fiber lowers our cholesterol, which is unusual, but nevertheless a fact. Also fiber lowers blood sugar levels. Buckwheat contains unique flavonoids, and they reduce the permeability of our blood vessels and help strengthen them. It has a lot of quercetin and rutin. It is because of this that buckwheat in particular is recommended for use during pregnancy. But not only during pregnancy, but also after operations and, even more relevant for each of us, for the prevention of oncology. There is another effect that varies greatly from person to person, but nevertheless, it often takes place. This is weight loss after a person has started eating buckwheat. The fact is that if we replaced some of the other foods with buckwheat, it can often lead to weight loss. There are even separate buckwheat diets where people eat only buckwheat and shed a large number of pounds. Although mono diets are generally not recommended, you still need to eat a varied diet with lots of different foods. So nevertheless, buckwheat, due to the fact that it has a relatively low glycemic index, as well as the fact that it contains fiber and allows you to subjectively get a feeling of satiety for a long time, can help those who want to lose a few pounds. So it feels like the complete opposite story from sugar, cakes and other confectionery sins. And what types of buckwheat can be found on our shelves? It's the kernel, the whole grain group. As a rule, the larger the kernel, the more expensive it will be, and to sechka, pounded kernels, is already cheaper. It is cooked faster, but it is not stored as long. These are buckwheat flakes. They are made from whole, flattened and steamed grains. They cook very quickly, but they have a problem, their nutritional value is lower. In fact, of course, cereal is an undesirable food. Still, it is better to eat whole grain products. The next kind of buckwheat is buckwheat flour and TAS, ground bread grain. Of course, from buckwheat flour you will not succeed, since there is no gluten and the necessary properties. But, for example, pancakes and fritters from buckwheat flour can be made. Buckwheat flour is also used to make buckwheat noodles. And you can also find green buckwheat on the shelves. These are the unprocessed kernels. In fact, it is a whole treasure trove of useful substances, vitamins, trace elements, and for a healthy diet, a very interesting option. Separately it is worth saying about the amino acid composition of buckwheat. Of course, to fill the protein needs of our body, the easiest and most direct way is to eat meat. Well, to this you can also add dairy products, in particular, low-fat cottage cheese. But this is the traditional approach. Some people do not agree with it, for example, vegetarians, or someone still eat meat and cottage cheese, but wants to diversify their diet, which is basically correct. 
The more diverse we eat, the better for our health. So, buckwheat is not in vain considered a serious substitute for meat, because there is a lot of protein and amino acids, and it is a quality composition. And the most interesting thing is that they are well balanced and easily digested, which sometimes cannot be said about meat, because the processing of meat the body requires, as a rule, more effort and resources. Of the 20 amino acids found in buckwheat, 8 are essential, tryptophan, lysine, methionine, valine, threonine, leucine, isoleucine, and phenylalanine. It is a known fact that the typical diet of the average person is most often deficient in three very important amino acids, tryptophan, lysine, and methionine. So, the good news is that buckwheat has these amino acids. Therefore, the deficiency will be successfully managed. If we compare buckwheat to legumes, of course, legumes also have a lot of protein. Legumes are also a wonderful food. But compared to buckwheat, legumes have a slight disadvantage. Buckwheat is better in the sense that it is much easier to digest. And how to properly cook buckwheat? Of course, it can be boiled or steamed. Speaking of which, steaming helps to preserve a greater number of useful substances. There is an opinion that boiling kills all the useful substances. This is partly true, but at the same time it is true that in any heat treatment any food will lose its useful substances to a greater or lesser extent. But we are not going to eat raw buckwheat, it is impossible. It is estimated that after about 20 minutes of cooking buckwheat is deprived of a significant part of useful microelements. Therefore, it is recommended to cook buckwheat for less than 20 minutes. Those who want to preserve the maximum amount of vitamins and minerals, it is recommended to cook buckwheat for 5 minutes, then turn off the stove and let the buckwheat insist for an hour. But there is another interesting way that many people do not know about. When I learned about it, I was really dumbfounded. In fact, you can even buckwheat cannot even cook at all, but just pour it with water. Yes, just like that, just leave it. That is, we take buckwheat, pour it with water in a ratio of about 1 to 2, and leave it like this, stand, for example, overnight. And by morning we will be ready to taste almost like boiled buckwheat. Of course, with this method it is recommended to wash the buckwheat well, because if we do not wash the buckwheat, boil it, at least we kill all the germs in the process of cooking. But if we just insist it without heat treatment, in this case it is better, of course, it is still good to pre-wash. So buckwheat is a very useful, tasty and nutritious product, one of the best products in our diet and on the shelves of our stores. So it should be eaten, probably, by all of us. More information on this topic, you will find on our channel. Subscribe, please put a like and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.